What up world? And welcome back to the J-Rated Wisdom TV. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Now let's get to the video. Have you guys heard of the Mandela Effect? The Mandela Effect is a theory of parallel universes, based in the idea that because large groups of people have similar alternative memories about past events, people who support the theory claim that for these common experiences to be true, the structure of reality must have shifted at some point in the past and that therefore not only do parallel, suitable to live in universes exist, but that we are constantly switching between them. The Mandela Effect was named after Nelson Mandela, whom some people erroneously believe to have died in prison in the 1980s. In 2010, blogger Fiona Broom, she started the term Mandela Effect to describe a collective false memory she discovered at the Dragon Con convention, where many others believe that former South African President Nelson Mandela died during his imprisonment in the 1980s. On the 5th of December 2013, former South African President Nelson Mandela passed away. But as the news spread around the world, so did the confusion. Many people remembered Mandela dying three decades earlier, while he was an inmate at the notorious Robben Island prison. Some, such as paranormal consultant Fiona Broom, remember the event vividly, including seeing footage of the funeral and subsequent rioting. Broom soon uncovered many more examples of collective memories disappearing from public record. She named this phenomenon the Mandela Effect. When do you guys remember Nelson Mandela died? Please leave your comment below. Mandela death is just one of many Mandela Effect examples. Here is another one. Do you guys remember the Berenstain Bears, or is it the Berenstain Bears? Many people believe they always been called the Berenstain Bears, with a E. But it's always been the Berenstain Bears, with a A instead of a E. How do you guys remember them being called? This way to bear country, you'll know when you're there. As soon as you enter, you will feel like a bear. A great grizzly bear. A Berenstain bear. We are the Berenstain bears. Mama. Papa. Sister. Brother. We appreciate each other. We live in a split level tree. Mama, Papa, Sister, and me. Snuggest buds in our split level tree. That's how I remember it being spelled. That is wrong. It is actually the Bernstein Bears, and it's spelled B-E-R-E-N-S-T-A-I-N. I don't know about you guys, but this sounds just bizarre to me. The books look weird. I've seen Photoshopped versions of what people think it should be, which is Bernstein, and it looks really bizarre. Bear theory, as it's known, posits that at some point in the last 10 years, our universe crossed over with an alternate parallel universe where the Bear family name is known as Stain, not Steen. Now, it's not just low-level rappers that are pushing this idea. A graduate student of physics put some elbow grease into really trying to show that reality has been tampered with and history has been retroactively changed. He claims that somehow our universe rotated by pi over 2, kind of like 90 degrees, and while most things line up, just some things are different, like the spelling of these beloved Bear's last names. Now, as for me, personally, I do remember it being Berenstein. I mean, it just makes sense. But there is some evidence of a possible Berenstein past and subsequent cover up. A Reddit user claims to have pictures of lots of evidence, but for some reason his posts have been mysteriously deleted. Another piece of evidence, a TV guide from the 1980s, and a few other instances of the EIN spelling. Like they say history is written in a book and it's past is the past and it is what it is. I don't think that's necessarily true. 
I think that some things go back and change other things. And so I use the Internet Archive and 80scartoons.net, February 17th, 2001, was the first snapshot they took of this website. And it says, the Baron Steen Bears. All right, so we're going to scroll forward and see if we can see if and when it changed. All right, so this was February 17th, 2001. The next one here, April 7th, 2001. Also Baron Steen Bears. All right, April 7th, 2001. So we'll go forward to the next one. Aha! Baron Steen Bears. August 5th, 2001. All right, so sometime between April and August. August 5th just happens to be my mother's birthday. Weird coincidence. Just weird coincidence. But it, there it is. It changed. Now, I suppose it's possible that whoever runs this website, you know, back sometime between April and August, might have been like, oh, crap, we misspelled that name. Let's go and change it. But as you can see here, they didn't change the URL. It's still the same URL. They just changed the name and stuff in the text. Plus, there's more on the website here. Everything else on that website was also Berenstain. Uh, Berenstain, excuse me. So you can see that they listed the titles of the books and the official Berenstain Bears website, the link to that. And then when reality changed uh, sometime before August, it goes back to Baron Stain Bears. And you can see all the titles again of the books, they're all changed. And the, the name of the, the author is changed, and even in the song there, Baron Stain Bear. Now, I don't suppose to have an answer to this. And I don't know if the actual physical books, like if somebody held on to them from their childhood, would be, also be changed. I assume they would, right? Everything would be changed. Wow, crazy. I remember them being called the Berenstein Bears, but I guess I was wrong. But I see I'm not the only one that thinks they were called the Berenstein Bears. Here is another Mandela Effect example. Find strength. We can end this destructive conflict and bring order to the galaxy. I'll never join you! If you only knew the power of the dark side, Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. He told me to kill me. No. I am your father. Wait a minute. What did he just say? No. I am your father. Wait, wasn't it? Luke, I am your father. Okay. I know I'm not the only one that remember him saying, Luke, I am your father. I'll never join you! If you only knew the power of the dark side. When I first saw the dialogue that said, Luke, I am your father, I said to myself, he's lying. I wonder how they're going to play that liar. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. He told me you killed him. No. I am your father. Say what? In fact, there's something you need to know. What? Luke. I am your father. <laughs> La la Luke, Luke, I am your father. Luke, I am your father. Luke, I am your father. What is the what is the big famous line Darth Vader says to Luke Skywalker in Star Wars? Uh, Luke, I am your father. Beautiful. Luke, I am your father. Rarely. Uh, <laughs> no, usually, they, no way. People don't do that all the time? No, they asked me to say it. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> yes. Oh, they don't do it to you. They say, would you say it? They end up doing it to me because I say, I don't know the lines. You know the lines better than I do. You do know the Luke, I am your father. I mean, that's such an iconic line for people. That's funny. That's funny. Luke, I am your father is not the only famous movie quote that has been changed according to the Mandela effect. Here is another one. Is that one? What's the famous line Tom Hanks says in Forrest Gump when he refers to the chocolates? My mom always said, life was like a box of chocolates. Wait, was like a box of chocolate. From what I remember, the quote was, life is like a box of chocolate. I know I'm not the only one who remember Forrest Gump saying, life is like a box of chocolate. Is that one? What's the famous line Tom Hanks says in Forrest Gump when he refers to the chocolates? Uh, life is like a box of chocolates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What's, What's the gonna second end up with? You never yeah. know what you're going to Mama always said, life is like a box of chocolates. Forrest Gump said, life's like a box of chocolates. And I have to agree with him. My mom always said, Life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. So, let's delve a little bit deeper in this. Let's look at the movie. Let's find out what did his mama actually say. I happen to believe you make your own destiny. You have to do the best with what God gave you. What's my destiny, Mom? You're gonna have to figure that out for yourself. Life is a box of chocolates, Forrest. You never know what you're gonna get. Mama always had a way of explaining things so I could understand them. I will miss you, Forrest. All right, so right there, the, the amazing scene right there with Sally Field and Tom Hanks. His mama says, life is a box of chocolates. Would you like a chocolate? Oh, thank you. I found the book for us in 1985. And I fell in love with it. I read the first line. And the first line of the book is, being an idiot ain't no box of chocolates. My mom always said that life is like a box of chocolates. Wait a minute. So, did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? You know, you know, maybe, maybe I'm mistaken. Because that's the scene right there, right here, that myself, along with millions of others, heard and remember. Right here. Let's play that again. We're going to play this a couple times. Let's do it. Life is like a box of chocolate. Said that life is like a box of chocolate. My mom always said that life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Life was like a box of chocolate. That doesn't even make sense. I remember. Life is like a box of chocolates. Because life is like a box of chocolate. Now is like, because we are still living. But I don't know. I could be wrong. How do you guys remember the quote? I'm going to show you guys one more example of a Mandela effect, but this one is on a Disney movie. The famous quote that has been changed according to the Mandela effect is from the movie Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. When the evil witch asked the mirror on the wall a question, I remember her saying, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Magic mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? Magic mirror on the wall, no, I'm wrong again. Or did I hear the wrong? Let's hear it again. What wouldst thou know, my queen? Magic mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? Yeah. I was wrong. I did just heard her say magic mirror on the wall, but explain this. Yes, okay. I definitely
definitely have a happily ever after thing going on. Mirror, mirror. Anyone know how to break a spell? Say hello to my little friend. Yeah! Experience the untold adventures of Snow White. Ah, uh, ha. Huh. See, I knew I wasn't tripping. <laughs> If the evil witch never said, Mara Mara on the wall, why would they make a movie called, Mara Mara? Oh and also look at this too. Once upon a time, in an enchanted kingdom, there was a beautiful princess. With skin as white as snow and hair as black as night. La la la. Her hair is not black, it's raven, and she's 18 years old, and her skin has never seen the sun, so of course it's good. This spring. Mira, Mira, on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? See, there it is. Did you guys hear what she said? Mira, Mira, on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? She did say. Mira, Mira, on the wall. So why would they say the original quote is Magic Mare on the Wall? I know I'm not the only one that remember her saying Mare Mare on the Wall. In Snow White, the evil queen says to her mirror on the wall, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Is that what you thought? Because you were wrong. And so was I, and so is everyone I know. It's actually magic mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the prettiest of them all? Mirror, mirror on the wall. 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 Mirror, mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. 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 Mirror, mirror on the. And so we have a very old version of Snow White here, proving that Walt Disney adapted it directly from Grimm's fairy tales, which it should never have differed. Why would they change it? Copyright. And here's your proof. Every day she asked it, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of us all? But I guess this is just the only book that got printed wrong in the entire existence of Snow White by Disney. This must be rare. If anybody wants to put a bid on this, I started a million dollars. It must be the only one in existence. Thank you. And I know some of you are going to say, well, maybe it's just that page. Well, let's go ahead and check. There's the second occurrence. Third. I wonder if whoever printed this was fired. The Mandela effect is crazy. How do you guys remember the quote? Don't forget to comment all of your answers. Also subscribe and like the video. If you want to see more on the Mandela effect, thank for watching. Peace out world. See you next time.